Thank you, Senator Little. It's the last day of legislative proceedings for the week and federal lawmakers in the Senate are set for controversy as they amend the Code of Conduct Bureau and Tribunal Act. An early attempt by the Senate to amend the law was received with criticism by the public as Senate President Bukola Saraki currently has a case before the tribunal. In the face of public disapproval, the Senate suspended work on the bill while amendment of the bill continued in the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives has concluded amending the bill and these lawmakers are looking at the final amendment. Original provision in the bill. Federal lawmakers in both chambers made the following amendments to the Code of Conduct Bureau and Tribunal Act. Amendment to Section 18.1 and 2, transferring the President's regulatory power over the Bureau and Tribunal to the National Assembly. Amendment to Section 3 to make it compulsory for any case of breach or non-compliance to be brought to the notice of the person concerned to enable him make a written admission of such breach or non-compliance. And where such is done, there shall be no reference to the tribunal. Section 1.4, to reduce the tenure of the chairman and members from serving until they are 70 to a term of five years. Subject to renewal for one further term only, making a total of 10 years in all. As recommended, that is to reduce from 50 to 30 to become part of the bill. Say aye. Those against say nay. The nays have so it's gone back to 50. However, the Senate rejected an amendment to Section 4.2 of the extant law, which had also sought to transfer the power of appointment and discipline of chairman and members of the Code of Conduct Bureau to the National Assembly. The amendment to clause 4.2, that is clause 5. Stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay. The nays have it. But midway into the concurrence process, some lawmakers expressed reservations about the process. Amendment of section 4.2, I think an explanation should be given. How can National Assembly take responsibility for supplementary legislation on something which has already been delegated. The amendment process, however, continued and was seen to a conclusion. Is there a true reflection of what transpired, Committee of the Whole? Yes. Thank you, Senior Leader. Both chambers will now have to set up committees to harmonize the different aspects of the two versions passed by the House of Representatives and the Senate.